today I'm gonna show you a basic uh, script that allows Robcom in Grasshopper to cut a wooden panel and that's very simple of course uh, but it demonstrates the flexibility of Robcom um, so this is our setup it's not too complex we have uh, two curves uh, one down and one up and we determine the control planes which we feed to the simulation component and it generates uh, our robot positions so in the script everything happens of course with those two uh, curves which are split by control points uh, you can see them here uh, those are connected with lines just hide them uh, these create the planes you can see the planes they're facing the normals of uh, elongated lines then we have a line planes component which uh, makes our planes um, coherent to the master plane and uh, then Rapcom kicks in and the simulation starts uh, basically what happens is you can just ignore that to the most part uh, we set up the tool for Robcom here through Eulers and uh, TCP coordinates uh, we import the tool mesh and the tool component just can be used to simulate the, uh, the simulation and then of course there's uh, this component which generates the instructions and you can see in the panel that you get all the instructions that you can feed to the KUKA controller and if everything is well configured you would uh, see the same movement as you see here in the simulation which I will demonstrate now so basically for Robcom for this position solver component it's enough to have a robot the control planes the parameter so it's now on one we see in the parameter in the slider it's also correctly on one um, and you have a tool that is also needed here to uh, make the simulation correctly represent the uh, robot uh, that is set up in reality and now if we just move this slider you will see that the robot just uh, follows the predefined path and you can uh, follow this to get a good feeling of how the robot will behave where, given the control planes that we've just generated through this path and you can also of course download the script on our website 